Guess what, folks? It's time to do a little battery maintenance. I got my distilled water. Let's check out the water level on my batteries. So you need some distilled water, a funnel, and a flashlight so you can see. And then what you really should be doing also is you should have something like this. What this basically does is it just checks the acid level in the battery and it sees where, uh, where it goes. There's different types of ones out there. Um, some are good, some are bad. I don't know what's what, but that's the one I've been using. I kind of like that one so far. So let's uh, let's remove this blanket. This blanket is to help keep my batteries a little on the warm side. But we're going to take a look at these batteries and uh, and make sure they're full of water. Basically, what you want to do is once a month, you want to always make sure you check the water level in your batteries and even check the acid level. So, and you want to do that after it's been fully charged and even after it's been equalized, then you want to check the acid level in your batteries. But you can fill the water at any time. So we're going to do that right now. So here I have a few batteries. I got, I got some Royal Surrettes S605 batteries and I have eight of them. They are wired in series and parallel so that they equate to 24 volts and uh, those are four four uh welding cable in between. Um, the reason why they go this way well because I didn't know exactly how I was putting them all together it would have been better if they would have gone straight from there to there, but that works just fine. I got some videos I'll put a link to about uh, about wiring up the batteries and series and parallel and all that stuff. So this one I just want to show you the water level. So let's go ahead and take a look at one of them. Just want to kind of start from one side and just work your way. I'm not going to show you every single one of them. But I am going to show you some so that you get a pretty good idea as to what we're looking at. You see that tab right there, that red piece that goes down a little bit? Water needs to barely touch that. That's the water level indicator. See the bubbling? That's good. And you can't really tell but I can tell the water is really low actually. Wow, that's really low. That water is really low. That's a bad sign. So I'm going to have to fill up these batteries. I'm not going to do that measuring. I'm not going to do this device here. Just because my battery, my, I want to make sure that the water level is full first and I've done at least a day's worth of, uh, of equalizing and since I'm going to be filling the batteries there's no need for this so but I'll put a link to these down below here's all I'm going to do is I am going to I can't do it with the uh, holding the camera as well but basically I'm going to hold the flashlight I'm going to use a headlamp actually so I can see a little bit better and then I'm going to hold this funnel down here and then I'm going to pour my distilled water in there and then as I do so my headlamp will shine in there and I'll be able to see that tab in there and I'll be able to see the water level the reflection of the water and the light so and I do not want to get water on top of it and I'll probably wipe all this clean just to get the dust off of it. So, but that's basically all that I do. So it's just barely touching that tab. Not well you can tell there, but it's barely touching it. So I'm going to do that now to all my cells. 
and then we should be good to go. So basically the this video is just to let you guys know battery maintenance you check the water in your batteries every single month I have not been good about that that's why that one was so low once they're fully charged and are equalizing that's when you break out your this device here I forget what it's called offhand I'll put it down in the description field and you test the acid in your battery that will tell you how good the battery actually is uh, based on your green and your white and your red so um, but yeah you want to do that basically on a monthly basis so you maintain your batteries because this is the heart and soul of your solar system so let me go ahead and finish this but that's going to be it for the video so thanks for watching guys don't forget to like subscribe share comment and of course see you bye have fun <laughs>